Hello friends, it's Bill here with Reputation Sensei by Digital Media Nation, uh, recording a vlog for our audience, prospects, customers, vendors, partners, and friends. Uh, listen, it's been brought to my attention uh, lately that a lot of our prospects love the information that we provide both through our email newsletters, through the workshops, the, the online playbooks, the web uh, online presence report that we can do. Uh, a lot of the efforts that we put into kind of sharing uh, a look behind the curtain uh, with our with our clients and our prospects and our audience members and, and the university students and college students that we support uh, always goes over uh, really well. So um, in some of the workshop production that we've done recently, both for the work we do in the small business community, whether it be at the Small Business Expo or the uh, Sensei Playbook podcast or some of the uh, teachings that we do at, at, at Gwinnett College, um, I just I just thought I'd put together a, a vlog series uh, about the the recent developments, what we've learned, and what a lot of our clients and customers find uh, really captivating. So, the purpose of this vlog today is to kind of go over in summary uh, what we've been teaching uh, for quite a few years now, both Chris and myself, uh, Chris through a video webinar series and, and me uh, through the Small Business Expo workshop series that we've been doing both in Chicago and, and next week in New York, um, this reviews into revenue idea. And I wanted to take a few minutes today to focus on really what it means uh, to put someone through a prospect or buyer journey. Um, there's a lot that needs to go on when you're curating content or publishing content in an effort to really inform, inspire, or influence someone uh, to make a decision that's hopefully right in line with the successful attainment of whatever business goals they've set for, for themselves. And in that spirit, I wanted to give you some information about what we provide uh, in an effort to bring business owners or business leaders, practice managers, and professionals, and what we give them to help them bridge the gap between where they are and where they ultimately want to be. And the first thing is to understand that not everyone online is aware of the products, services that you deliver or the challenges or the, the results that you, the challenges that you address or the results or the benefits of the solutions that you ultimately provide. So when we're curating or creating uh, an online content strategy, whether this be social media on your, on your website, a blog role, a podcast series, speaking appearances, networking events, we need to understand uh, that it's a process. And this process is, is really quite simple. Uh, from a prospect journey, uh, we wanna take people from first unaware to aware, and then from aware to engaged, and then ultimately from engaged to what we call marketing qualified. What this means is if you have information regarding your suite of services, the, the solutions that you provide, Putting that into the marketplace or putting that on the social media or putting that onto your blog roll or putting that onto your website or putting that onto your YouTube channel, you first have to ask yourself, okay, for the people who are consuming this content, uh, what, what are they already aware of or what are they completely unaware of? And let's just presume that in our first foray or our, our, our salvo across the bar, bow, if you will, uh, that we're going to take people from unaware to aware. And what that means is for me, who is, um, we're in the digital marketing business, we provide digital marketing services for, for the businesses that are, that are relying upon local traffic to, to support their business growth, whether it be car dealerships or healthcare or fitness or, or anything of the like. If, if someone's going to search your industry and your community or, or, or some topic and near me, uh, then we want to make sure uh, that we're, we're doing everything we can to give ourselves a chance uh, to earn that business going forward. And the first thing that I want you to be aware of is not everybody is aware of the solution that you provide. And moreover, they may not even be aware of the problem uh, and whether or not it exists in their life. So the first thing we want to do is really enlighten our audience. And that's to take them from that unaware phase to an awareness phase, which is to say, hey, we're going to start with questions. Hey, are you aware uh, that digital marketing today can be done solely on your own? Are you aware uh, that digital marketing agencies can help you uh, to align your, your best products and services with the, with the people who are ideally suited to hear that presentation right now? Um, are you aware that um, you know Instagram and Facebook uh, are now losing market share to TikTok and Snapchat? Are you aware that, that email marketing automation is the same 
single greatest thing that you can do to improve the likelihood uh, of conversion from a prospect to a customer. So these are things that we can start to really educate and inform and hopefully inspire some action. But ultimately, we have to first take a take a person from that unaware phase to an awareness phase. So the first step in the buyer journey or the prospect journey is to go from unaware to aware. Now, once they're aware, hopefully they're consuming your content. Um, they, they might even respond to a call to action. They may join your newsletter list. Uh, they may actually reach out and speak with a specialist. They may want an appointment. They might want to come in and learn more. Uh, they might watch an online video. They might make, make their way to your website or, or follow you on Facebook or, or send you a like uh, on your business page or what have you. So when we go from unaware to aware, a lot of things happen, a lot of things that are necessary to set you up for success. Once we are aware, we have a prospect who's gone into an awareness phase, the next phase of awareness is engagement. And I just kind of alluded to it in the fact that if someone were to click and download an ebook or maybe an action guide or attend an online webinar or perhaps watch a video series or um, you know, respond to a, a request to, to, to subscribe to your newsletter, they now become engaged. So the, the 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 journey is is unaware to aware to engage engagement can happen a myriad of ways it could be a phone call it could be an article read it could be a video uh, viewed uh, it could be a, an email opened um, any one of these things could be a sign of engagement and then finally once we have their their engagement we want to continue to bring value we want to inspire we want to inform uh, we want to educate we want to enlighten we hopefully want to entertain and we want to really get our our brand voice or our personality uh, in the picture here and that engagement uh to to qualified is really you know are, are they fully understanding what it is that we provide and, and what differentiates us from our competitors in the marketplace. And uh, are they are they a proper prospect? Are they is this something that they're interested in solving? Is this a benefit that they're interested in, in, in achieving? Uh, can they afford it? So ultimately, we want to make sure that they they're fully aware of of, of the, the products is products and services that we deliver and the benefits and solutions that we that we provide. And then we want to make sure that it's in line uh, with with what they're interested in, in achieving at a price level that they find comfortable. So that that qualifying factor is really important. Um, you don't want to be marketing Bentleys to, to individuals, you know, driving uh, scooters. So uh, we want to make sure that we're in the right in the right ballpark there. So once we get them qualified, then they go through uh, what we call the buyer journey and the buyer journey uh, is, is I'll sum it up quickly, but uh, it's really a seven step process. And the buyer journey, I can do a whole video series on, uh, but to make it brief, I just want you to think of um, no like trust try, buy, repeat, refer. So essentially uh, we have to build knowledge, uh, likability and trustworthiness first. Once they know, like, and trust us, then we have a chance to get them engaged. Uh, hopefully they can try. Uh, try can be defined as, as, again, like a video series or an email newsletter, or perhaps a learn more event like a webinar or a video series. Maybe they come in uh, for a for a free trial. Uh, you see a lot of this in in the um, uh, health and fitness community where you can work out for a day, or you can you can get a free stretch, or you can uh, get a get a, a massage or um, a free treatment if you're an esthetician or something to that effect. You want to go no like trust try. Then you want to create a purchase. So we want to buy. And then the final two phases of the uh, client journey would be to repeat that process. You want to build a repeat customer, a uh, relationship based uh, customer base that comes back again and again and again. And then you want to turn those customers into fans and advocates, which they, they actually go out there and evangelize uh, your uniqueness and, and your your uh, influence and, and the benefits of your products or services. And then they become referral partners for you. So uh, I often say, listen, we, we help our clients to turn, turn customers into fans and fans into their their sales force. And the way we do that is, is really by executing that buyer journey, uh, which is no like trust, try by repeat and then refer. So when you think of the prospect journey first going from a state of uh, unawareness to awareness from awareness to engagement from engagement to qualified, then they begin that that buyer journey sequence where they learn, um, you know, 
do I know this person? Do I know what makes them great? Do I understand what makes this business uh, outstanding? Uh, do I like them? Do, or do they relate to me? Uh, do they do they answer the questions before I have a chance to ask them? Do they speak in terms of my interests? Are they more focused on my benefit than their own? Uh, that's where you get that likability. And then finally, trustworthiness. Are they congruent? Uh, do they behave in the marketplace in a way that I would define as within their integrity? Um, are they uh, doing a great job, not not said so by them, but, but as validated by their customers or patients in the marketplace? Do they get a lot of reviews? So that no like trust and then try by repeat refer. So that is the 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 full journey, and uh, and I teach an entire forty five minute workshop on this, and we go into depth on other things. But it is amazing that everybody in the room sits up and they finally the light bulb seems to go off for them, and they understand now uh, the goal is not to take you know cold paid traffic, never heard of me, never knew of of what our organization does, or whether or not they even have a problem, or or whether or not they even have a goal, and, and get them in the door, or get them signed up, or get them contracted. The goal is to really move them one step uh, through the process uh, at a time, and and that results in really high quality conversions uh, and at incredibly affordable rates because this. This is not a get rich quick scheme. This is not manipulative in any way. It's really the right way done uh, done over time. And, and when done properly, uh, it produces the most predictable and, and most outstanding results you can imagine. So just wanted to give you that kind of insight and let you know that this is going to be a major focus of both our podcast newsletter, uh, as well as our personal speaking appearances and, and kind of the work we do here in the community uh, of Northeast Atlanta, because uh, this just is really quite um, enlightening for a lot of uh, business professionals and, and business leaders and business owners is they've never really looked at it in this way. And they understand marketing as, you know, something they have to do, but maybe they don't understand the why or they, they you know, they're just confused possibly possibly with, with all the things out there, uh, all the social media channels, all the ways that they can create content. Uh, what do I do first? What are my goals here? So um, I'm hoping to really simplify this over the next few weeks and months and, and really put together some actionable items that make sense for people and really can kind of help them to, to get started. Um, you know, I, I talk a lot about the difference between fear and doubt and courage and confidence. And, and ultimately, the only difference between being in a place of fear and being in a place of courage is, is action. It's that it's that commitment that we make as business professionals, leaders and owners to just do something, to just concentrate one step at a time, uh, one step forward. You know, we either win or we learn. There is no failure. As long as we're actually taking taking steps and setting goals and beginning with the end in mind, things will work out. And if this is anything we, uh, the team at, at Reputation Sensei by Digital Media Nation can help you with, uh, we are absolutely at your service. This is why we create newsletters. Letters. This is why we create vlogs, uh, which are video blogs. Uh, for those that don't know, uh, this video series is really just a value add for everybody uh, who touches uh, our customers and us. And, and as you know, we work with a lot of different partners to deliver the best quality uh, results and solutions for our clients because it's our job and our obligation uh, to successfully bridge the gap between where business owners and leaders are and where they want to be, uh, as said by them. So uh, we are in the accomplishment business and there's no business I'd rather be in. Uh, and there's nothing more exciting to me than to be sharing uh, with everyone uh, what it is that that we do and why we do it and what makes it so exciting in this this ever changing time that we're in. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this. I hope this provided some clarity. Um, please continue to, to, to subscribe and, and like and share. And, and really, uh, if you know someone that's entrepreneurial or leading a business and they're interested in growth or, or expanding into new markets or, or leveraging the voice of their customer and patient to, to attract more customers or patients, uh, then perhaps an introduction would be cool because we'd love the opportunity to serve as many people as we can because uh, it is truly a labor of love. So once again, thank you so much for your time. I hope this was helpful. And if it was, don't keep us a secret. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.